Hello YouTube and Raspberry Pi forum users. Uh, this video will hopefully help solve a few issues you guys are having with the Minecraft server performance on the Raspberry Pi. Um, I won't go into a load of detail, uh, it's by no means an idiot's guide so you're going to have to have a bit of knowledge of Minecraft, a bit of knowledge of the Raspberry Pi and hopefully some knowledge of Debian or well, Linux will help. Um, right, the first thing that you need to do is resize the memory split, uh, given as much RAM as possible to the Raspberry Pi itself, taking, well, the majority of it away from the GPU. So you need to do sudo raspy config. Um, from here, you want to go on the memory split, and you want to allocate 16 megabytes to the GPU. And obviously reboot your Pi. Um, I don't need to because I've already done this. Um, once you've done that, you need to make a folder to store your Minecraft server files and your plugins. So we're just going to make a directory and we're just going to call it... Well, call it whatever you want, but I'm just going to call it Minecraft. And then you need to change directory into this plugin, into this folder. And... in. Right, sorry, I haven't quite spelled Minecraft right, but it doesn't matter. Uh, me to make a directory called plugins. Right, once you've done that, you need to install the correct version of Java. Um, to do that, you need to change the directory to opt. If this doesn't exist, you can just make it using make the forward slash opt. Once you're in there, you need to download the latest version of Java. Um, it is a beta version. I'll copy the link to this in the description. And we'll let that download. It will take a little while, so I'm just going to pause the video while it's downloading. Right, um, that's now finished downloading. So the next step is you need to extract it. So we'll just do tar. It's XF and it's. JDK. It will just take a few seconds. And once you've done that, you need to go back to the Minecraft folder, on the Minecraft server folder that we made a few minutes ago. So, and once you're in there, you're gonna need to download the latest version of Craft Bucket. It needs to be the latest stable release, as the betas and the developer releases usually have quite a lot of bugs in them. So we'll download that. Right, the next couple of commands that we're going to run actually build the world file for the Minecraft server. Now, it does depend on what Raspberry Pi you've got for which command that you use. Um, it does set the memory allocation for the Java VM if you've got a 256 megabyte Raspberry Pi. You want to allocate around 170 to 180 megabyte of RAM. Um, if you've got a 512 meg one, I do, well, I like to allocate 300 meg uh, just so you're leaving plenty of memory for the operating system and any memory leaks. Although you can go up to 400, even 450 megabytes. Um, it's up to yourself, but I probably wouldn't recommend any more than 300. I'm using the 256 Megpy, so I'm going to run this command here. Change 175 to 300 if you're using the 512 Meg. Um, so yeah, this is going to build the Minecraft world file. It'll take between 5 and 10 minutes, so again, I'm just going to stop the video, well, stop recording once whilst this builds the world file, and then I'll get back to you. One thing I must make clear, um, do not try to connect to the server once this is started back up. Oh, sorry, once it's built the world file, um, it is going to cause issues for the next step. So as soon as this is finished, just comp just follow the next instruction, but basically you're going to have to type stop and stop the server straight away. I'll just pause this whilst the world file builds. Right, um, server started up now. So as you can see, it took 254 seconds. I'm not going to work that out in minutes, but it was about three or four minutes. Um, just going to... Stop the server now, and um, we'll continue getting those spawn chunks set up. Okay. 
can take a little while to stop after its first start up. Right, next step is you want to change the directory to plugins. And you need to download the latest version and they'll spawn chunks. I'll stick all the links for everything in the description. If you look below, it should be there. Um, right, now we've got no spawn chunks installed. We're going to start the server again uh, using the same command you used last time. 300 meg for 512 pi, 175 for 256. Should start up very quickly now, no spawn chunks is installed. There we go, started up in 2.628 seconds. And just to prove that I'm actually logging into the Raspberry Pi, you can see the IP address and put you at the top here. Um, and you can see the IP address on the server as well. Right, so now it will look like it's not actually loading, it'll lag, it'll glitch, um, and you will probably end up dying because you'll fall out of the world. Uh, this is just because it's gener still generating the world around spawn, but as soon as you respawn, there you go. You can now see we are playing Minecraft on the Raspberry Pi, well, on, on the server hosted on the Pi. Um, it's relatively lag free, you can usually get around 5 players on a 256 Pi, I've never tried it on a 512 megabyte, so I can't say really. Um, I'll cover a few more steps after this, I'm not going to go into details on port forwarding, I'll let you work that one out for yourselves if you've got this far, I'm pretty sure you're gonna, you, can come, you can figure that out. Um, just stop myself. Just for a laugh, we'll try a bit of TNT. <laughs> Sorry, I'm actually using Nodus on here as well. I'll just turn fly off. As you can see, there's a little bit of lag on TNT there, but bear in mind the world is still generating and it will only improve as you play. Um, I'm just going to stop this and uh, I'll just cover a few more steps. Right, what you're probably going to want to do is run this in the background when you close the SSH session. So you're going to need to install screen, uh, command flats apt, get install screen. Uh, this command will only work if you've updated your packages but Again, you can find out how to do it elsewhere. I've already installed it, so you're not going to have to... Well, basically it'll ask you to... If it'll ask you if you want to make pack changes to the package, you press Y, you hit enter, it's done. Uh, it'll take a few minutes to install. Go back up to the command that you run. Again, 175 meg for a 256 pi, 300 for 512. And just put screen at the start of it. Hit enter. It'll start your server up again, and you can literally just close the SSH session um, and then you'll be able to rejoin it's obviously still booting up because it's taking a little while to log in there but um There you go. So that's how you host a Minecraft server on a Raspberry Pi. Um, it is probably the best performance that you're going to get off one. If you haven't looked at this in the Raspberry Pi forums, chances are you've probably already jumped on my test server to see how it feels. Um, if not, the IP address is in the description below this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope it has actually helped some of you. Um, if you need to get in touch with me for any reason, you can visit my forum and I will check all of the posts that you put in there. Um, again, the link's in the description. You can leave a comment or you can put a post on the Raspberry Pi forums. And, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll find it on there and get back to you. 
Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment and rate.